in this problem, I'm looking at a heavy vault door in a bank. And this thing has a mass of a thousand kilograms. We're neglecting friction in the hinges and just thinking about basically how long does it take to open this thing just because it's so heavy. It has a width of two meters and we're given a formula for the moment of inertia of this thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and write that down as a side note real quick. It's the same as the moment of inertia for rotating a rod about one of its ends. It doesn't matter that it's a slab extended into a third dimension because the mass distribution is the same in terms of how far, how much mass is from the rotation axis. So I get one third times a thousand times two meters squared. And this gives me 1,333 kilogram meters squared. Okay, now I have someone applying a force to this thing and very conveniently they're applying that force at a 90 degree angle always. So they're being very careful to always keep it perpendicular to the door. That's going to maximize the angular acceleration. And it makes torque easy to compute. So I'm going to do this up on top as well. Torque is the perpendicular component of force multiplied by the size of the lever arm. So the size of the lever arm means if I look at the point where the force is applied, how far is that from the rotation axis? So that's just the width of the door, which is two meters in this case. And my torque calculation comes out to 500 newtons times two meters or 1,000 newton meters. Then I can get into my angular acceleration. Well, there's a little formula relating torque, moment of inertia, and angular acceleration. Tau equals I alpha. And I get that alpha is equal to tau over I, which is 1,000 newton meters divided by 1,333 kilogram meters squared. And I get 0 0.75 radians per second squared. In part B, I'm asked for the time for the door to open by 90 degrees. So you have to be careful here and remember that we're working in radians when we're dealing with all of these angular quantities. For example, the angular acceleration is given in radians per second squared, not degrees. So you have to remember that 90 degrees is a special angle pi over 2. Or if you don't remember that, you could do a unit conversion problem. And I'm going to apply our first angular kinematics formula. Theta equals theta naught plus omega naught t plus 1 half alpha t squared. And I'm going to call the initial angle 0, and the final angle is pi over 2. The initial velocity was also 0. And then I have the 1 half alpha, which is 0.75 radians per second squared times t squared. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, and then I'll just clean it up in my calculator. So pi over 0.75 square rooted. And when I do that, I get that the time to open this thing by 90 degrees is 2.05 seconds.